Hello guys, this is True Ray here. Microsoft has just released a bunch of good news about their Windows phones and new features coming to their Windows operating system. So first, Windows Phone 8 will support dual core CPUs on the first day and quad cores in the future and will also offer three screen resolutions at its max at 1280 by 768 meaning it's going to be a HD screen. Windows Phone 8 will also finally bring real support for micro SD cards and from what it seems that these cards will be able to have apps installed on them. Microsoft also promised that apps developed for 7.5 will not require refactoring for new resolutions. Internet Explorer 10 will also be built into the operating system and it'll look like the desktop version. The default maps application in Windows Phone 8 will be Nokia Maps. They partnered together. It will have offline maps, turn by turn navigation, and map control for developers. Every Windows Phone will include the Wallet Hub, so basically one app which manages all your purchases on the device, contactless payments, deals, loyalty cards, in-app purchases, and credit and debit cards. Windows Phone 8 will have a new start screen with resizable tiles, so you can make them double wide, regular, or small. This gives you the option to have more information on one screen and they'll keep updating live. Windows Phone 8 will be adding DirectX and native development. They have something called shared code. Developers should be able to quickly port their games to Windows phones without rewriting a whole bunch of code. Microsoft also highlighted how native codes simplifies porting apps between iOS and Android. Microsoft partnered with Audible to enhance their Windows Phone voice recognition. Plus, Microsoft is hoping to do better than Series by letting developers integrate speech, response, and recognition directly into apps. And APIs will be available for building in standard speech controls. Microsoft brings true background multitasking, so, so you can have apps running in the background while you're doing something in the foreground and they'll run like if you're actually using it in the foreground, but they're not. So if you have a phone call, you could quickly put that in the background and it'll still run while you do something else. Skype will be also integrated into Windows Phone 8, so you can make VoIP calls. Also, VoIP apps will be able to run in the background as well. Nokia promises to bring a bunch of new updates to the existing Lumia lineup. So for all you previous Windows Phone, users expect some good updates coming. All updates will be delivered over the air. Devices are supported with updates for at least 18 months, so almost two years. And people that are registered to Microsoft's program will be able to get early access to updates. So these are the big announcements at the Windows Phone Summit. Hope you enjoy this video. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about these new features. I feel it's a huge improvement to the Windows Phone lineup. So stay tuned for more videos. This is Truray. I'm out. Be breezy.